I'm taking you to Rolex to shopping with me because my essay called that my watch has arrived. I'm going to pick it up and show you what's available in stock right now. I will share their price details as always. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you can guess which watch I got this time and which one is your favorite. Let's get right into the video. If you watched some of my other videos, you may be aware that Rolex stopped taking any orders for they just since last year so that they can keep up with their production and make the watch that they want to make. I put this watch on my wish list since last year, but my essay has not received anything due to the still limited inventory. Despite what happens in the secondhand watch market right now, it is still really difficult to get any Rolex watch let alone the popular models. By the way, this blue Datejust is super similar to the Datejust I got last year. I'll leave the unboxing video down below for you to check it out after this video. I know what you're thinking now because there are quite some watches are on display, right? That was what I thought too. After talking to my sales associate, I found out that all these watches on display are really for exhibition only. They have the same outside as normal watches and the inside is partially made but it's not complete so they're not for sale and they are for display only. If you're randomly walking into any Rolex store right now, you probably won't be able to get anything most of the time unless they receive the, the shipment on that day and that the watch is not some hard to get watches which requires you to build up your profile. As for the inside, you can see there only two day just here the rest of the cases are all empty even these two day just are not real watches and therefore display only as well here you can see the super popular oyster perpetual in size 41 millimeter and oyster steel with a green dial apparently the green dial is super difficult to get this gold rolex with the fluted bezel is actually a real watch and not a display which I'll I'll go into details and show you in the try on section. Rolex keep producing so many new watches every single year and yet is still not able to keep up with the demand. This is probably the most exciting section of the entire store. How much I wish they are not display only watches but I have to tell you that they are for display only. Either way, I was really excited and happy to try on some watches to just to show you how they look on me and I will share their price details as well just in a bit. Do you spot my bad girl and Rubier here? They're my favorite GMT master too. With that being said, let's try on some new watches and I will show you how they look on me. This one is the ladies they just in the 28mm size and champagne color dial set with diamonds, oyster bracelet and a fluted bezel here. 28mm is supposed to be classic ladies they just. It's the perfect blend of proportion and elegance if you prefer smaller sizes. All my Rolexes are in the 40mm size and I usually wear my Rolex alone in my other hand. If I'm considering layering, I'll pick a smaller size watch in the future. All gold might not be my thing, but this one does go with my existing stack very well. The nice thing about this watch is that it's not a display only item, it's a real watch for sale. You also don't need to spend anything additional for this type of day just. This one is currently retail for $28,200. What do you think of this ladies day just? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. You guys, look at this Oyster Perpetual Yamaster in the 40mm size and 18k ever rose gold with the Oyster Flex bracelet. The intense black dial and the bi-directional rotatable bezel looks so cool. The waterproof and the robust quality of the watch make it ideal for water sports and sailing in particular. I love 
love the sporty look and durability of the Oyster Flex bracelet. I'd love to add a watch like this to my collection one day. This one is currently retail for $28,050. Do you like the ultra feminine ladies they just or the sporty Yao Master better? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. This one is the Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona in Oyster Steel and a yellow gold with a white dial and an oyster bracelet in the 40 millimeter size and it has the 18k yellow gold bezel with these engraved scale in the center. Daytona is designed to be the ultimate timing tool for endurance racing drivers. I'm not particularly interested in this style and the color combo but I do have a soft spot in my heart for Daytona. My favorite Daytona is still the Panda. If you watched some of my other videos in the past, this yellow gold Daytona with the white dial is currently retail for $17,950. What do you think of this one? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. Everything I tried on so far except that first gold ladies, they just all other watches are for display only. I'm going to try a few more display only watches so that you can see how they look on me and I will share their price details as well. This one is another Oyster Perpetual Lady Stay Just in Oyster Steel and a yellow gold features this champagne color and a diamond set dial with a fluted bezel and a jubilee bracelet. This is such a classic and elegant day just because of the two tone and also the fluted bezel instead of the whole diamond bezel. This one is a much better deal compared to the previous day just in 28 millimeter. This one is currently retail for $11,850. These two basically are the same size, same dial and a bezel. The only difference is one is in yellow gold and the other one is two-tone and also the style of the bracelet. The price difference is $16,350. Which one will you pick between these two? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. This one is the Oyster Perpetual 41 millimeter with a green dial and the oyster bracelet. This type of oyster perpetual models are definitely set them apart and they are symbols of universal and a classic style. They're timeless and functional. This style comes in different dial in many different colors and my essay said a green is the most hard to get one among them all. I'm not a green person but I can see why this one is popular. On top of all these, the price is also really grade 2. This one is currently retail for $6,150. What do you think? After seeing the current inventory in the boutique, I'm feeling super lucky to be able to get my new watch this time. Especially, it's such a beautiful and a special piece. I picked up my watch and I will unbox it with you very soon. Which one is your favorite among everything I showed you in my vlog? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.